So this is where it is, man. This is where it all really started. The apartment I got evicted from. Crazy to be having this right here and then being here at the same time. But I just wanted to make this video to show y'all to not be scared to start and to believe in yourself. So here, I'm going to show y'all the place though. This actually looks better than it did before, honestly. My door wouldn't even open up. I had to like close it a certain way. This is one time I was locked outside of the apartment because the sun would beam on it all day and it would like uh, warp the door. So at certain times in the day, I couldn't leave because the door would be warped and I couldn't get it open. That That's still leaking. <laughs> Believe it or not, that was leaking when I lived there. So that's still leaking. It's ridiculous. So this is one of the first things I learned. You cannot let the fear of other people's opinions stop you from going after your dreams. If you're constantly waiting for the best time to get started, then you'll never start. The best time is now. Well, I'm going to take y'all over to, before I got evicted, the shop my homie opened up. My homie Tez opened up this shop, which is why I moved this far over here in the first place, just to be closer to it. See, like, it's actually not a really bad area, like, as far as looks-wise. It's just... There'd be little pockets. That's how Arizona be. This the this is the lot where the crackhead pull a knife on me. <laughs> oh, that shit is but it looks like this place is still closed. I guess they haven't filled it yet. But wall still boarded up and everything. Is that door right there? That's where we had. Um, that's where we was uh, tatting out of. This area not too bad, but it get real sketch at night. Real sketch. But that was better than tatting at the apartment though but the thing is that that spot he closed it down because um it just didn't make sense for him where he where he was at financially so he had to close it down and that's why i started tattooing from that apartment i showed y'all so right now we're pulling up on where i went to after i was evicted it was my only option really was to stay with my brother he was kind enough to let me stay with him so we're gonna pull up on that place right now Oh man, memories, boy. This is a complex, though. Uh, nothing special. It's decent, better than where I was staying. I'll say that for sure. Up there, that was the unit my brother was in, which was funny enough, right off the stairs of the bus station when I actually had money, which was very rare, to get to get a bus pass. So I would take the bus down there. A lot of the times, I just walk all the way down to the shop. But I'm gonna show y'all exactly how far the walk is just so y'all can get an idea so this walk was six miles and that doesn't sound like a lot on paper but this is why i time lapsed it just to show you exactly how far that is the lesson in this is that you need to have an insane amount of belief in yourself when i was doing this every day people thought i was crazy and why wouldn't they this is a really long walk to do something where there is no promise of any money so and there's going to be people who are even love you that are going to try and talk you out of doing the thing that you see that yourself doing so you need to be able to believe in yourself otherwise there are going to be things that deter you from doing what you believe you can do not only just people but there will be circumstances and obstacles that make you question what you're doing you have to stay true to the path oh there it go right here that's the walk <laughs> Hey, 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 can we even get in here? Let's check it out, see if they open it. Do you see that Sunday? Bitch, we might be. <laughs> you say what's up? Oh, no, nah, I'm good though. Appreciate it. I don't think they open. Yeah, it looks like they're not open right now. They're probably by appointment only, but check him out. My boy, uh, Parax, the owner of the shop. Check out Bees. He's fire. He does some great lettering work. But yeah, that was dope working over there with him. But this was the walk, y'all. Y'all just seen that? That's what I would do every day. I wasn't there three days out the week, four days out the week, five days. I was there every day walking there. So no excuses, y'all. Whatever you got to do to get it done, to make your vision come to life, you got to do that shit, man. So I'm going to tell y'all this, too. Like, I don't care how talented you are. If no one knows who you are, then it doesn't matter. So one of the most important things you're going to need to learn is social media. Okay. That's where I got all my clientele from. I definitely recommend using Instagram. Learn to run ads on there. You can literally run an ad for $3 a day. So there's a budget for everybody on there. 
So what are you consuming on a daily basis? You need to replace that with people who are talking about things that are going to help you. You need to cut out all distractions. Anything that's not adding to what you need to know in this moment is a complete waste of time. That includes people. Whether or not you want to cut those people off altogether, that's up to you. But at least give it time, some time. You've spaced yourself away from them two months, three months, six months. Give yourself enough time to just dedicate and focus on getting to where you want to be. If right now what you're thinking about is how your situation is different than mine and why I succeeded and you haven't, then you already lost. You need to focus on what individual advantages you have, whether it be skills, position, relationships, any way that can help you. Stop focusing on what other scenarios people have and what things that help them get to where they are. Focus on things that can help you get to where you want to go. And that's how you'll get ahead.